Hey, it's Scott Kubo. I wanted to show you something unusual that happened the other day. So here I am driving in autopilot, and if you look at the uh, center screen there of the Tesla Model 3, you can see that autopilot is on, and navigate on autopilot is on, as indicated by the blue line going down the center of the lane. And the vehicle is tracking cars around it. Um, the highlighted vehicles indicate cars that it's tracking the speed of and you can see that it wants to uh, change lanes so all this is uh, acting as normal and then uh, this happens uh, let's just see here for a second so you can see that autopilot completely disengages and the hazard lights came on and there's an error message that says cruise not available and then I tried to um, put it into park and then back into drive to see if that would uh, restart things but to no avail. So the autopilot display isn't showing any vehicles at all and I'm unable to get it to turn on so what I think happened is uh, the software crashed or maybe it lost one of the camera feeds and so it was rebooting and trying to turn back on and this took about two or three minutes and then everything came back to normal. So I'm driving manually, I know something interesting. If we can zoom in a little bit on the autopilot display, I know it's really hard to see, but it actually is showing the lane lines. And as we come into this merging situation where the lane kind of widens and then narrows again, it's actually displaying this. Um, so I think what's happening is there's a completely separate system for identifying lanes. And that means that even when autopilot is completely uh, shut down, um, other features like the lane departure warning system should still work. So let's take a look at that again, sort of up close and in sort of slow motion. You can see that, uh, yeah, autopilot disengages and the hazard lights come on. Uh, fortunately, I was going very slow. I'm not sure what would happen if you're going fast highway speeds, but I'm guessing autopilot would gradually bring the vehicle to a stop. Driven almost 20,000 miles on this car, and the first time I've ever seen something like this happen, so it's pretty rare, but these things can happen. Well, hope you found this video informative. If you did, give it a like. Thanks for watching and see you next time.